Game on. Leaders in Las Cruces telling people to pack the Pan Am this weekend, even though COVID-19 is still surging. The answer they gave when CBS4 on your side asked about the soundness of that advice. In diagnosing the borderland, the new trend hospitals are seeing among our smallest patients. And a wannabe thief chased down by a stranger. The bad luck that may have landed him in jail. This is CBS 4 at noon. Happy Thursday and thank you so much for joining us for CBS 4 at noon. I'm Selena Madrid and I'm Amanda Guillen. The U.S. Homeland Security Secretary will make a stop in El Paso this week. Now this visit comes at a time when the White House is taking heat from Democrats and Republicans for its immigration policies. That's where we find CBS 4 at noon's Liana Golden. She's live in the newsroom with the differences that are bringing the parties together. Liana, thank you. And there are more illegal border crossings in El Paso this year compared to last year. Customs and Border Protection reported 49,000 encounters from October through December compared to 28,500 during the same three month period a year ago. CBP noting those numbers are higher in part because some people have been caught multiple times. Meantime, Vice President Kamala Harris is set to visit Honduras to talk about U.S. border migration with the country's soon-to-be new president. Harris is expected to arrive today. She will also be attending the new president's inauguration. The incoming president promised to fight against corruption and crime, the same issues that are seen as the root of migration issues. To the COVID-19 pandemic, positive test results are going up right here in El Paso. Today, our positivity rate topped 35 percent. More than 1,700 new cases were reported and 17 COVID-related deaths. More than 500 people remain hospitalized with the virus. And CBS4 On Your Side spoke with an infectious disease specialist at Texas Tech Health Sciences Center in El Paso who says there would be more hospitalizations if not for our high vaccination rate. And Dr. Michelson tells us two oral treatments for COVID are being used at local hospitals. The pills are reserved for high risk patients. There's a bit of a conflict of interest at NMSU this weekend. The school and the mayor are encouraging people to pack the Pan Am for a big game against Grand Canyon University. But as some have pointed out, packing an indoor venue may not be the smartest thing in the midst of the Omicron surge. I spoke with school leaders who tell me they are confident they can host a safe event. Now for a look at weather, we send things over to forecaster Brady Brewster. Brady, I'm trying to take my kids to the park this afternoon, so give me some good news weather-wise. All right, well, if you can get there earlier than later, you're going to be okay. Our temperatures right around where they should be for this time of the year. Have a closer look at the cold front that we're tracking coming up in just a few minutes. Lady? Brady, thank you. A woman is behind bars charged with animal cruelty after police were tipped off thanks to posts on social media. This is Lupe Rodriguez. El Paso police say she tied her dog to a gate on the outside of a window for more than 10 hours. Police say the dog was sitting on a box and the cord that was around its neck was so short that if the dog fell off or if the box tipped over, the dog would have choked. Rodriguez was booked on a $3,000 bond. President Biden signed an executive order making sexual harassment within the military a criminal offense. And the order follows sweeping military justice reforms that are part of the 2022 National Defense Authorization Act. Sexual harassment complaints will be handled by independent investigators outside of the military chain of command. According to a Pentagon report released in May, military service reported receiving more than 1,700 sexual harassment complaints in the 2020 fiscal year. Some incredible new video, hundreds of dolphins stampede off the coast of Southern California. Come and take a look. This amazing sight was captured by a whale watching boat near Newport Beach on Sunday. Experts say the dolphins may have been trying to evade a predator or trying to catch up to food. So beautiful. I've actually been on a cruise too and just seeing like the dolphins in the water. I mean, it's like intense. That's incredible. Majestic. I don't know that I've ever seen that many of any type of animal at one yeah. time. Yeah. So especially with them being dolphins. I've seen a really pack. Cool. I've seen a pack of dogs at once. <laughs> I mean, but that's the, the desert, closest. Right? <laughs> yeah, and honestly, that's the closest to a cruise. I mean, that I think I have gotten in a while. So we'll take it. We'll Put take on it. your bucket list yeah. cruises. Mm -hmm. Cruises mm -hmm. and well, 
on a cruise, you know, you generally get a lot of sunshine. Okay. We're at least going to be tracking that, which is good. Okay. But we do have changes that are going to move into the borderland. And I'll get to that coming up in my seven day forecast. Brady, thank you. A former high school football kicker who had her career cut short by a car wreck is now making an epic comeback. Kristen Muyor suffered a spinal cord injury during a crash in Arizona a year ago. She was partially paralyzed below the waist and doctors told her she may never walk again, let alone kick. But take a look at this. After grinding her way through physical therapy and training, she did this. It's a full circle moment for her because now she's the kicking coach at her former high school. That's awesome right there. Good for her, girl. I know, I know. Perseverance, you yes. know what I mean? And it shows that <laughs> if you stick to it, you're going to get to it again one day. Absolutely. So awesome. All right. College can be expensive. Coming up, the donation that could help the most underserved families in the borderland. And from the highway to the skies, the prototype that could soon be a reality. Welcome back. A new foundation in El Paso is getting a financial lift in order to get a footing in the community. Today, the El Paso area's Teachers Federal Credit Union gave a $200,000 donation to the Underserved Community Foundation. The new group has a goal of helping families living in poverty and giving them financial resources. And the foundation first got started in February of last year. University Medical Center is celebrating 107 years serving the borderland. It first opened their doors in 1915 when it was called El Paso County General Hospital. In honor of the anniversary, banners are hanging on the main campus and throughout their clinics making, marking the occasion. Welcome back. I think we can all get excited because it's almost the weekend. Brady, what should we expect? Well, better than what we're seeing right now. That's good. Well, we will start to warm up into your weekend, but first we have to deal with these colder temperatures for your Friday as our next weather maker does look to arrive a little bit later next week by about midweek. Right now, cooler temperatures at that point with about a 10 to 20% chance of a shower or two. Brady, thank you. Football fans, here is an indication of who might be winning this year's Super Bowl. An unlikely prediction coming from a Chinese restaurant in Cincinnati. The owner noticed the Zodiac for this Chinese New Year is the Tiger. Cincinnati's mascot is, of course, the Bengals, which inspired some Tiger-themed items to her menu. I think it's just amazing. I, I don't like I said. I, I just you know what are the chances? So I don't think I think uh, I think it's no coincidence, and we're doing everything we can to celebrate the year of the tiger along with the Bengal tigers. Now Wong says she is adding tiger shrimp to the menu and importing tiger beer from Singapore. So cool! And I mean, if you can predict it early and get your bets in. <laughs> That's, That's where the money's part, at, right? right? Yes, That's, if you don't have a, a horse in the race, might as well bet on it, right? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Honestly, true. I just can't wait for the halftime show. Okay. I don't even know who's performing. Oh, Mary it's like, J. Blige, it's like three or Snoop four Dogg, people. Eminem, it's a big all one. The race. See, can't wait. For That's that. what we go from <laughs> football to we go to straight to the halftime show. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you back here tonight for CBS 4 at 5 30.